one moment, warm the next. Energy feeding the instability in the atmosphere, causing all kinds of crazy results. Weather in Connecticut, sure, but also New London Ledger basketball games. Welcome to game day, everybody. We're at the Judy Dow Standish Gymnasium on the campus of Ledger High School, and it's already hot, sports doctor. This is, <laughs> I mean, why would you want it any other way? It's 90 degrees outside in this gym right now, Casey. Boy, oh boy, things are heating up here tonight. Well, we're gonna bring you the game in Southeastern Connecticut. Throw the records out. It's all about history and possibilities. New London High School Whalers, the supreme being in ECC basketball on the road tonight at Ledger High School. Almost 100 wins in the last five years, Sports Doctor. And how bad do they want to get this one tonight? Yes, 98 career wins for Dave Cornish, like you said, in less than five seasons. And he's yet to beat his old school in New London. Big game, Casey, not only for bragging rights here in the ECC, but also state tournament, ECC tournament seedings, and a lot of pride on the line here tonight, also in Ledger High School. Well, if you've been following these games on game day in the past few years, they're very intense, they're very exciting, a lot of energy, a raucous gym, and we're expecting a lot of the same tonight. Keith, why don't you tell us who are the players we should be watching in tonight's ball game? Yeah, sure, Casey, the sports doctors players to watch for the Ledger Colonels, Isaiah McNair, junior swingman. McNair averages just under 18 points a game for the Colonels. He's a streaky scorer who can score in bunches from inside and out, making McNair a dangerous offensive weapon for a ledger. McNair also leads the team in steals. He's not afraid to pick your pocket if allowed. And for the New London Whalers, senior guard Isaiah Cunningham Hodge. The senior point guard for the Whalers is the player who pushes the tempo for this young athletic Whaler team. Hodge has shown he can knock down the long range jump shot, making him a legit scoring threat for the Whalers. Isaiah's main responsibility though, Casey, is setting up his teammates, especially big man Major Roman, for easy scoring opportunities. Thank you, Sports Doctor. You heard mention the name Hodge and Roman, two very familiar names in New London. Well, a familiar name in Ledger is the Hutchins family. Now, there's sibling rivalry, and then there's the Hutchins family, where nine of the ten siblings have played competitive basketball. For Ledger brothers Kevin and Trevor, basketball truly is a family affair. Rebound underneath by Hutchins. He goes up strong. Kevin Hutchins doing yeoman's work on the glass. We've been practicing together since we were little kids. So for him, he's always been playing up with whatever team I'm on. So it's kind of like we know how to play together well, and we work together as a team. Drops it down. Nice left-handed spinning shot by Trevor Hutchins. Uh, I started at guard because I was shorter than everyone, and they were older than me. And then I grew more, so now I'm a big man. When I was a freshman, actually, I was a guard because I was, I was like a foot and a half shorter. Nine people in my family play basketball. I have a sister that plays D1 at Utah State University, so she's probably like the most prolific player. But we have little sisters and brothers who play, and older siblings who played before us, but not really at the same level that we are. Everyone in our family is over six feet tall, so we all have a role, I guess, to fill, and our dad kind of like set us on that. Kevin Hutchins stepping in, drawing the charge. He didn't actually start playing until he was in high school, but he really picked it up quick and like went to college and played. Kind of just instilled the joy of basketball into our family. We're pretty competitive, especially when we play like 1v1 and stuff like at the home court. We, uh, we go at it. <laughs> we have half court painted in the driveway, you know, to scale 15 foot to the free throw line and everything. When do you guys all get together and play or compete, you know, brothers and sisters? Um, usually at Christmas time. This past year we couldn't because it was too expensive, but in years, years before that we were able to get together everyone and uh, go play basketball together. It's really fun. I love it. It's probably one of the best times I've played basketball because with my family, you know. So I know everybody, and it's, it's just a lot of fun to me. Well, we've seen these two brothers work very well in earlier games. They're very important for tonight as well. Yeah, they're extremely competitive. They're both big people up front, and they both offer something different to the Ledger team. You know, Kevin's more of a down, you know, rebound, dirty work kind of guy, and Trevor is a scorer. Well, they're going to need both of those things to be competitive tonight. Now, on screen, you see one of the great players in New London High School history. Now, New London High School has produced some of the state's best basketball teams. And DJ Exum, well, he played on two state champions. Now he's back at New London High School trying to teach a young and inexperienced group how to win while helping translate Coach Craig Parker's message. Just a New London guy all in general, pretty much. I've been here all my life. A lot of these kids on the team I watch grow up. A lot of these kids will watch me play in high school, uh, whether sisters of, brothers of uh, 
former girls basketball players or friends of the family. I, I watched all these kids grow up and I just felt this was the perfect year to come back to help out, help the program out. You gotta find a positive in every situation. You know, that's one thing I try to do. Like we're losing games right now. We are. We're struggling this year, but I try to give these guys positive information. Like, hey, you're, you're young. You're learning. You know, you guys gotta understand that all you guys play freshmen. Maybe JV last year. You gotta be able to work through this. You know, come back to the next level, like next year, or even the playoffs. You know, come back strong and fight through it. One thing I always tell Coach Parker is, uh, Coach Parker, Coach Arnie, uh, even Coach Kim, um, I always tell them, the one thing I know more about basketball than you is, I know how to play for Coach Parker. You guys never play for Coach. So I try to get the kids to understand that. You know, he may yell at you telling you, oh, you should never miss that money, you should have missed that money. He's not trying to put you down. He's saying that like, you should make that money, like you really should. It's, it's within you. And that's why I just try to tell him that. Like when he yells at him, I'm the first person to jump on the bench and tell him, hey, pick your head up. It's not over. I learned as a senior that the way that he yells at you is just to motivate you. Um, a lot of people think that it's to put you down, but it's actually to motivate you. Uh, he motivated me a lot my senior year, and it took to my senior year to realize that he was just trying to motivate me to be a better player. The tradition never graduates here. It's just going to keep going and keep going. So people are prideful about the run. I tell them that, you know, people want to talk bad about you sometimes, but you got to just fight through it and just push through it. You know, Casey, DJ Exum is another prime example of one of those New London guys that comes back and gives back to the program. Nice to see him on the sideline coaching and giving the kids all he has to offer. Yeah, he's a quality person and got to like, we've seen that a lot throughout the course of the year, kids coming back to their schools to get back to the program, something that we often like. Well, we've got lots to talk about before we bring you the game. You're watching Game Day live on theday.com. Chevrolets do cost less at MJ Sullivan's. A 2016 Chevrolet Cruze Limited LS leased for $95 a month or drive for only $48.49. That's right, drive for only $4,849. Your Chevrolet leader for over 30 years. MJ Sullivan, Chevrolet Cadillac Buick. The following is a presentation of the day. It has become the game of the year in the ECC. The game where we throw out the records and focus on the possibilities. New London, the perennial pinnacle of the ECC boys basketball world, coached by the longest tenured coach, Greg Parker. Parker has won 14 ECC titles. State championships, he has four. Ledger, with athletic director Jimmy Bunicor, head coach Dave Cornish, and assistant Troy McKelvin, all having played for or coached with Parker at New London, continuing their own dominant program at Ledger, a program that is still learning how to be the best, how to maintain the success, how to be like, well, New London. Every time they clash, the games have been wholly competitive, highly combative, and hotly contested. Tonight should be no different. Forget the past. It's time for this year's version of The Game, next on Game Day, live on theday.com. Well, at the beginning of the year, you circle the calendar for certain dates, and tonight is one of them. It's The Game in the ECC. New London High School Whalers on the road here at the Judy Dow Standish Gymnasium, where the Ledger Colonels are waiting to try to knock them off for the first time ever in the tenure of Coach Dave Cornish and Coach Troy McKelvin. Casey O'Neill along with the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien, and we are set to bring you all kinds of exciting basketball tonight. Sports doctor, why don't you talk to us a little bit about the keys to tonight's game? Well, Casey, the sports doctor's keys to the game. For the legend Colonels, attack mode. On offense or defense, the Colonels are at their best when they attack. Swing it, keep the ball moving in the half court set to create easy scoring opportunities. And the deep end, Ledger now can go eight, nine deep off the bench, Casey. Freshmen and sophomore players are growing up fast this year for the Ledger Colonels. For the New London Whalers, looking good. Important for the Whalers to get good shots in the offensive end. Hustle up, quick young athletic New London team must hustle and scrap versus experienced Ledger squad. And last but not least, the centerpiece. The Major Roman must dominate against the undersized Ledger front court. Big man must play big tonight for the Whalers to have a shot, Casey. Well, you know, I think it's the first time in our tenure on game day where I can say that the New England High School Whalers are definitive underdogs. I mean big underdogs. If I were suggesting that this is an even matchup, I think I would be doing a disservice to the Ledger Colonels. New London is a little bit beat up. They don't have all of their players. It's not 
a, a traditional New London team, and this Ledger team has gotten better and better throughout the course of the year. You know, and they have, and I think some of the senior players and even the juniors right now for Ledger, they're feeling a sense of urgency where, you know, may they not get another crack at New London, especially for these seniors. And like you said, they lost two close games to them last year, and I think right now this Ledger team is, is coming down the home stretch of the season very well, and New London is eh, kind of right in the ship, and you know what? They're going to take their best shot tonight at the Colonels. Well, the biggest enemy tonight for Ledger will be Ledger. You know, the great Ric Flair said, yeah. in order to be the best, you got to beat the best, and they haven't done it yet. The only thing standing in the way of Ledger feeling truly atop the division is that win against New London. They'll be trying to do it tonight. Let's find out who the players to watch tonight are. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. Nicholas Fluid, Nate the Ham. Gia Lopez, Harvard School. Isaiah Cunningham, Jennings Elementary. Tyrell Martinez, Nathan Hill. D. Major Rowan, Nathan Hill. Isaiah McNair, Ledger Center School. Stephen Fletcher, Ledger Center School. Isaiah Kimball, Ledger Center School. Scott Whipple, Ledger Middle School. Kevin Hutchins, Julie W. Long Elementary School. My name is Deanna Shepard Smith. I have two kids at Nathan Hale Elementary School in New London. They come from out of town, so they get up really early, get the bus, they come to school. The way that they teach the students here, it's concentrated on how the child learns. So each child is treated individually on how they learn and how they excel. I would say absolutely hands down, do what you can to get in. Without a doubt, I can't even begin to express how big the impact is. Chevrolets do cost less at MJ Sullivan's. 2016 Chevrolet Cruze Limited LT. Lease for $119 a month or drive for only $56.21. That's right, drive for only $5,621. Your Chevrolet leader for over 30 years. MJ Sullivan, Chevrolet Cadillac Buick. Did I ever tell you how much I loved you? Citizens of Earth. Don't believe you'll miss me when I'm gone You're watching Game Day Live on the Day.com. Casey O'Neill along with the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien. And we are at the Judy Dow Standish Gymnasium on the campus of Ledger High School, where we are about to bring you the New London High School Whalers and the Ledger Colonels. Sports Doctor, we should be in for a fast-paced game tonight if how these two teams traditionally play stands up. Yeah, Ledger likes to go up and down the floor. New London wants to make get the game a little bit ugly. Should be a, a track meet here tonight. We have some very good officiating crew tonight. Tony Gigilotti, Tony Nosito, and Dave Cruz is our refereeing crew tonight, uh, three outstanding referees. Couple of changes to the starting lineup. New London has number 25, Ariel Cruz, is in the basketball game as a starter. And also in the starting lineup, number two, Melquan Gomez, uh, Nick Fleetwood, and Terrell Martinez not in the starting lineup. You will not see Martinez in tonight's basketball game. He is out for the Whalers. For the Legend High School Colonels, jumping will be Kevin Hutchins. He jumps against Major Roman. Tip one easily by Roman and controlled by Gomez. Gomez drives straight to the basket underneath to Roman and a nice start by the Whalers on an easy bucket. There you go, big man playing big. Easy drive and uh, dish to the big man, Major Roman. New London looking to pressure and from behind, Cunningham Hodge swats it away from Fletcher but it will stay Ledger basketball. Cunningham Hodge is one of those kids on the defensive end on the perimeter will give the Ledger guards trouble. Very active hands. Ice Campbell will run the first offensive set for the Ledger. Over it goes to McNair, a spot he loves for three. Ooh, in and out. And Whipple had the rebound for a second, but Roman pulls it down and gets it outside to Cruz, who will turn it over to Gio Lopez, the young sophomore guard who will run the point for the Whalers. Gio got a haircut since the last time we saw him, did he not? Making himself a little less recognizable. Yeah, sure. Looking good, young fella. Soft man pressure right now from Ledger. Lopez, high post it goes to Roman. Roman picks up his dribble and gets it over back to Lopez. Foul line, drives, wild shot, gets his own rebound. Gomez, nice inside look to Roman, blocked by Whipple, but we're gonna get a foul. 
Referee Tony Gigliotti says we got him on the arm. Yeah, and you know, for Ledger, Scotty Whipple's got to stay out of foul trouble early. Uh, the last couple games throughout the course of the season, two fouls early in the first quarter. Scotty Whipple's got to stay on the floor for Ledger to be uh, effective. First one for Whipple, and it'll send Roman to the line to shoot two free throws. Not his strongest area on the court. Uh, a lot of the Whalers, particularly Roman, struggle at the foul line. First one up and barely touches the rim. Foul shot. That was a foul shot that is now a free throw, Casey O'Neill. You have tried I'm all year early. long. Early. I'm referencing that early You've tonight. tried to make that a thing all year long We're on game along. day. We're coming along. Roman dips and shoots the second one and banks it in for a 3 nothing New London lead. Pressure. Ball tipped around. Cruz with a little pull-up jump shot from the... Baseline is good and 5 nothing lead for the Whalers in the early going and we're going to get a quick timeout from Dave Cornish. Yeah, two layups and a trip to the free throw line. So three scoring opportunities at the rim right now for New London is why they're up 5 nothing. And it's got to be the start that you know Coach Craig Parker was looking for. They got an easy basket off the opening tip. They've broken pressure. They've got a steal off of pressure. I mean, they've done. They've gotten to the foul line. Just about. They've got the ball more into Roman in the early going of this game than we saw in the previous game at Waterford throughout the whole thing. Yeah, sure. I mean, and he's effective. Why not give him the ball down there? He's you know he's six foot seven. Should be doing work down low. Ledger's got to step the press breaker right now. And the thing with London, very long at the guard position, uh, and giving Ledger trouble inbounding the ball. Well, with Cruz, Gomez, and Roman, they definitely have some length. Fletcher with a two-on-one, gets it to Whipple, but he loses the ball, comes to the other side, gets Roman in the air. Nice pump fake by Scotty Whipple for the first basket for the Colonels. Now Ledger's looking to press. Attack mode for the Colonels. Melquan Gomez was a point guard, even though he's got some size now. Inside it goes to Roman on Hutchins, kicks it back out. Gomez finds Cruz, Cruz drives, pulls up inside. Nice little touch, Ariel Cruz with his second basket. And New London back up to a five-point lead. Three baskets early going for the London Whalers. All three of their scoring opportunities coming at the rim. They're a little bit bigger than Ledger is up front. We didn't see much of Melquan Gomez in our first time we saw New London, but he seems very comfortable with the basketball. Campbell pulls up for the foul line. No good. McNair flies through. Up ahead it goes. Gio Lopez ahead of the pack. Layup is good as he beats Whipple. And New London's looking to press again. Now they're going to fall back into soft pressure with the seven-point lead. McNair guarded by Gomez. McNair drives with the right hand all the way to the basket, draws the foul. Basket's no good, but he'll go to the line. Nice assertive drive that time from Isaiah McNair. Yeah, attack, 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 like we talked about in the pregame. Legend's got to, you know, look to go to the rim, create some easy scoring opportunities, and um, right now he's just trying to right themselves a little bit in this game after being down 9-2 early case. First one from McNair from the line. Nice bounce. Gratuitous bounce for Booker McNair. One more. Ledger lead is six. If you're wondering why we got off to the late start tonight, it's because the JV game lasted six hours and 43 <laughs> minutes. 57 combined fouls in that game. Turnover at that time, a bad turnover. Now that's something that New London really has to limit if they're going to stay in this basketball right. game. And it would lead you with a chance to cut into that five-point lead. Yeah, the unforced errors, they don't need to hurt themselves out there. Nice job, Whipple. Strong inside for the basket and the foul. And if that's on Gomez, that's going to be his second, and it is. Melquad Gomez said he had his hands straight in the air, but that's his second foul. And again, we see the X factor of Scotty Whipple two times to the rim, so it's important for him to stay on the floor. I know he's a little bit undersized compared to Major Roman, but he can jump through the gym, which kind of negates Major Roman's size. Now Whipple's one of the, the best leapers that we have seen all year as he gets the foul shot to go, and now all of a sudden it's just a two-point lead. Cruz takes a step before he put it on the ground, and that's going to be a turnover, just what Ledger was look looking for, and the Colonels with a hiccup in the early going and now have a chance to tie the basketball game. I think the heat in the gym is affecting the players in the case. Just the broadcasters. So Nick Fleetwood into the ball game. He is wearing number 23 instead of his usual number zero as he comes into the basketball game. We get a foul on the floor on Fletcher with a screen. It'll be Whaler basketball. So Fleetwood in the ball game for the Whalers, as we said, wearing number 23. I think there's some confusion in the foul there. I think I'm maybe going to Whipple instead of Fletcher. 15. So that is Scotty Whipple's second foul early going 
And, and again, it's, uh, you know, we're just two, and, two minutes and change into the game, and he's got two fouls. Lopez and Fleetwood, a better ball handling unit. Fleetwood loses it, though, as soon as I say it. Out of the pack comes Fletcher. Fletcher loses it back the other way to Cunningham Hodge. He's ahead of the pack, all alone for a layup, and good. A little bit sloppy, both teams pressuring into turnovers. Tough, tough to dribble through the press. You got to look up and pass the ball. Ice Campbell tries to dribble through, makes it over half court. Goes right to the rim, pulls up 12-footer, in and out. He was making that against Fitch, struggling with his first one tonight. Cruz almost loses it, not a ball handler. And we're going to get a foul on the floor on Whipple. That's going to be his third. This is what we saw earlier in the year where Whipple had to go to the bench with three early fouls, and Ledger really struggled. Three fouls in the first two and a half minutes of the first quarter. And that's going to hurt Ledger. That's going to hurt Ledger as far as their ability to press, their ability to score by the rim, uh, their ability to do many things out there. Three fouls in the first two minutes and 50 seconds of the game for Scotty Whipple. Kenny Turner into the ball game, the freshman. Seeing some quality minutes now. Big size. Ledger's going to have a lot of size in the upcoming years with Hutchins and Kenny Turner. He's a big freshman. Very skilled, too. Ken Turner is a good ball player. Good pedigree there as well. Sure. Fleetwood lobs, and there he is. Turner on the weak side defensive help. Nice interception, almost like a free safety that time. Fletcher for three. In and out. That rim is being tough down there for the Colonels. Campbell comes up with the rebound, and he's fouled. We're going to see who they get. I think they're going to get Gio Lopez on the reach-in. And they do. That'll put Isaiah Campbell, the man they call Ice, at the foul line to shoot two for Ledger. Yeah, Ledger looks a little bit tight right now coming out to start this game. I don't know if it's because they're playing New London. I don't know if it's because they played yesterday versus Woodstock, Casey. But right now, they look a little out of their element. You know, Stephen Fletcher's thinking about the jump shot instead of taking it. So a good flow and a good rhythm right here for the Cardinals would be the sports doctor's recipe. Second one no good, but there's Turner with the rebound and a strong yeah. follow. Nice job, Kenny Turner. Some good time off the bench already. Ledger pressure, cross court pass, it goes to Fleetwood. Fleetwood beats Fletcher to the baseline, throws a lob up for Roman, too high. Down with it comes Campbell. Campbell, nice spin move to the baseline, little floater up and no good. Rebound comes down to Hutchins. Over the top of Roman with a little right-handed hook. And Ledger with its first lead of the game at 12-11. And we're going to get a little elbow on Isaiah McNair. That's going to be another foul. On uh, Fletcher that time. On that, Fletcher. That's a good call, too, because Stephen Fletcher's got to get to the sideline and take it away. Yeah. Turner's done a lot of work today. He's played in the freshman, JV, and now the varsity game. That's, for the Colonels. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Tire him out. Sleep well tonight, young man. Cunningham Hodge pulls his dribble up, tries to lob it into Roman. Three Colonels collapse on him and tip the ball out of bounds. So it's clear that in the half court, they're not going to let Major Roman get the ball without collapsing down on him. Well, I think they're going to challenge New London to try and knock down an outside jumper or two, which is a good plan. Cunningham Hodge, baseline, finds Roman out of his element. Tries to beat Hutchins, and he's going to walk. Nice defense that time. Kevin Hutchins gave no ground. See, that's what happens when you play those pickup games against ten siblings. Yeah. Or nine other siblings. <laughs> you learn how to play defense. Campbell finds Turner underneath. Turner up over Roman for two. Ledger having success pushing the ball. Freshman, some Ken, freshman Ken Turner growing up quick this year for the Colonels. And another turnover by New London. And with a three-point lead, Ledger sensing that they've got a little momentum. There you go, Casey. Easy basket for Ledger on one end and turnover off the press. 12-2 runs got them up 14-11 right now. Campbell. Over it swings to Fletcher. Fletcher pull-up three with a little double pump as he was pressured by Cunningham Hodge. Cuts it inside and gets the nice pass from Hutchins for two. And Ledger's got a five-point lead, and they're looking to pressure. And Fletcher intercepts. Finds Booga McNair for the layup. And just like that, it's seven. Gio Lopez finds Fleetwood. Little pull-up in the lane. Bank shot no good. 
out of bounds and it will stay Ledger basketball. And a seven point Ledger lead. We're gonna get Dakota Kilgore into the basketball game for Ledger. Replacing Kenny Turner who did a great job in his a few minutes on the court. Yeah, a little 16-2 run here by the Colonels, Casey, and they've stopped New London from getting easy scoring opportunities on the rim, and their press is paying big dividends. A oh, great steal by Gio Lopez, but he can't keep it in bounds. McNair comes out of the pack with it. McNair goes over to Fletcher in the corner, pull up from the corner for three. Got it, and the foul. Chance for a four-point play, Stephen Fletcher. Stephen Fletcher struggled on Friday night against East Lyme. His shot was a little off, straight up and down that time on the jumper. Smooth as silk, knocking it down from the three-point line. Stephen Fletcher. And in the blink of an eye, a 10-point Colonel lead with a tsunami. It's, this is not just a, a run or a wave. This is a 19-2. to Wow. All with Scotty Whipple on the bench with three fouls. Hard to believe. I give Kenny Turner a lot of credit. He came in and instantly provided some stability. Lopez comes the other way, pulls his dribble up. New London needs a basket in the worst way. And we're going to get a foul on the perimeter on Fletcher. A little hand check against Cunningham Hodge, and that's going to be his second foul. Yeah, a little, little chippy there on the outside. A little, little cheap one by Fletcher that time. Six different players for the Colonels in the scoring column early going here, Casey, at Ledger High School. Whalers need a basket in the worst way. Ledger just overwhelming right now on that huge run. 20-2 to two run. Cruz, guarded by Kilgore. Kick, oh, nice move, and we're gonna get a touch foul on to go to Kilgore as Ariel Cruz beat him in with a little crossover and got to the basket. Cruz will shoot two. And that's where uh, New one has had success is getting to the rim, getting some easy scoring opportunities. Cruz will have to knock down a couple, well, that's a off the ball foul, I'm sorry. Now you see the versatility here of Ledger. Turner back into the game, this time he gives Fletcher a breather. Nice interception by Hutchins as he denies Roman the basketball. Up ahead it goes to McNair. And he stepped on the baseline. It'll be New London basketball. You know, Turner comes into the game and they just shift Campbell up to the guard spot. So they'll have Campbell and McNair at the guards. When Turner can go down low, he can play either way. So it's a nice versatility that Ledger has here. No, he's a, he's a skilled wingman with uh, some size. He can do it all. He can put the ball on the floor. He can play the post. Lo Lopez passed it to Roman's shoes. Nice thought, bad execution, and Ledger comes out with it. Crossover by Campbell, pulls up, fall away, and bangs it. Ice Campbell with a silky smooth fall away to his left, and right now New London is in danger of being run out of the gym. Campbell gets it, gives it to McNair, who thought about a three, drives to the basket, goes to the left instead, wild. No good, ball tipped around and out of bounds and it will stay Ledger basketball. Right now the Whalers are desperately trying to find a way to break this run and they have not found it yet. Yeah, I mean Ledger is shaking off a slow 9-2 deficit and they are in control of this game. Turner for three in the corner, no good. Rebound underneath by Hutchins and blocked out of bounds but again it'll stay Ledger basketball. Three and a half minute scoring drought here for the Whalers. Casey O'Neill. Well, you can go three minutes without air, three days without water, and three weeks without food. How about a three pointer from freshman Kenny Turner and then the Ledger press, Casey, just like that. But I don't think you can go with three minutes without points. <laughs> Seven points for young freshman Kenny Turner. 27 to 11 in, a, in the blink of an eye in quarter number one. Campbell, guarded by Lopez. Pull up, no good. Roman with a rebound, outlets to Fleetwood, and they're gonna run. Fleetwood all the way to the basket, wild shot, no good. Kilgore with a rebound, and out the other end comes McNair. McNair crosses over Cunningham Hodge, left hand floater, no good, ball tipped around, back out it goes to Turner. Stripped by Cunningham Hodge and out of the pack of it comes Campbell and we're gonna get a foul on the floor on Gio Lopez. That's gonna be his third, so I think he's gonna see him go to the bench now for the last 50 seconds and more. Yeah, a lot of dribbling that time in a half court set by the Colonels. They're much more effective, Casey, when they're moving the ball. 
swinging the ball from side to side in the half court set, creating good looks for their either McNair, Campbell, or Ken Turner who's in the game. We just had a Hutchins exchange. Trevor, sophomore Trevor into the game for older brother Kevin. Campbell now slowing it down, taking a little air out of the ball. Ledger with a 16 point lead. Looking for Kilgore is Hutchins. Pick and roll. McNair, good defense by Fleetwood. Long three by McNair, no good. Hutchins underneath with the rebound. Puts it on the floor and loses it out of bounds. It'll be Whaler basketball with 13 seconds. Sophomore mistake, put the ball on the floor. Got to keep it up high. Yeah, catch it high, shoot it high. The sports doctor, one of his catchphrases, along with free throw and foul shot and send it in. You want a few more? Into the game for New London, Elijah Martinez, who had a big shot. He's the son of Louis Martinez, baseball great at New London High School. He goes right to the basket, finds Roman, who throws it down, but we're going to get, what else? A charge. Ledger is the best in the ECC at drawing them, and they lulled Elijah right into that one. Nice aggressiveness by Martinez, yeah. but and he made a nice pass to Roman, but one second too late. Yeah, I like the attackness. I like the aggressiveness. Like you said, get some easy baskets by the rim. Going to pull up just a little bit short, son, and make the dish. Campbell, under 10 seconds. Good defense by Cunningham Hodge. Campbell, a little baseline jump shot, nails it at the buzzer. And at the end of one period, wow! Wow, an overwhelming ledger effort here in the first period. 29 points. Let's see what the second period has in store. We'll be right back on the other side. You're watching Game Day, live on theday.com. Chevrolets do cost less at MJ Sullivan's. 2016 Chevrolet Malibu Limited LT for only $157 a month or drive for only $6207. You heard me right. Drive it for only $6,207. Your Chevrolet leader for over 30 years. MJ Sullivan, Chevrolet Cadillac Buick. Did I ever tell you how much I loved you? Citizens of Earth. Don't believe you'll miss me when I'm gone Well, I'll be very interested in what Coach Craig Parker is saying to his team right now. Sports Doctor, I, I can't believe the number that I'm looking at. What was the Ledger High School run? Uh, it was a 27-2 run. And Casey, if you go all the way back to the beginning of the game, when the London was up 9-2, they were getting easy looks at the bucket. Uh, they were handling the press pretty well, and things just kind of got away from them a little bit. They stopped getting the ball underneath, maybe it's, you know because of some of the Ledger big people coming in. But Ledger really imposed their will in the last, uh, say, five minutes of the first quarter. I mean, 29 points in the first quarter, that is an enormous number. We have seen games where that's the halftime score for some teams. First period, 29 points, and a 27-2 run. That is just unheard of. Turner with a three from the corner. No good, but we're going to get a little bump on Dakota Kilgore as he threw that hip into Major Roman, and it'll be Whaler basketball. Good look by Kenny Turner. Queued up a three-point shot, just didn't go. I don't think he's tired. I was about to say, I think he's tired. He's, he's played probably, in all three games. probably shot 40 times in the freshman in the JV game. That's the seventh foul on Ledger, which is going to put Major Roman at the foul line, which is probably not where Coach Craig Parker wants him at the moment. Shooting one for two. Yeah. yeah, one for two from the line. Well, the first one barely hit the rim. The second one he banked in. So see if he can find the happy middle here. It's like golf. Maybe for you. doesn't matter how many. Just, it doesn't matter how. It just matters how many. Ah, there you go. He is short on the first one. Whaler's got to try to find something here to break this easy ledger run. Hutchins, nice weak side block by Cruz. Back up top, it goes to McNair. Long three, straight away no good. And Roman comes down with a rebound. Not the best shot that time by Isaiah McNair. But New London needs a basket. Cruz had Roman but chose to pull it back out. Cunningham Hodge. Pulls up from the foul line and drains it. Well, he was our player the, to watch for a reason. He can shoot the basketball. Yeah, good look, good step in, foul line, jump shot, knocking it down. 
Four points for Isaiah Cunningham Hodge. And the first basket for New London in what seems like an age. Breaks the 27 2 run. Kilgore to Turner. Campbell, Hutchins, and McNair. From the corner, Turner partially blocked by Roman. Kilgore gets it, finds Hutchins, on, loses it on the floor. Tied up by Martinez, and out with it comes Cruz. A messy game right now. Kilgore, and he is tackled by Major Roman. That's a sack on the quarterback by Major Roman. Nice hit from the blind side. Butch Parker not happy with that uh, little exchange over there, and when is he ever happy? Well, I mean, there was, I mean. Yeah, it was a little, it was a bit of a scrum down there. Yeah. You can't argue with the, Ro with the Roman foul. He, he tackled him. But what, you know, you, what happened prior to that was a bunch of guys banging in, into each other. So Kilgore is at the line is what uh, turns out to be the result. Cruz comes up with a rebound, and New London will try to cut into this 16-point ledger lead. And they're going to have to chip away at this lead and chip away down low with Major Roman. Nice look underneath. It goes to Cruz. Pull up five-footer is good in, inside the lane. And that's been some, where New London has had its success. Six points for Ariel Cruz, all down inside the paint for the Whalers. If you're wondering about the other big game in the ECC, that would be the Waterford High School Lancers playing at the Bacon Academy Bobcats. 38-35, Waterford at the half in another large medium battle in the ECC. Waterford playing as good as anybody right now, and Bacon sitting right near the top of the L division yeah. with these ledger colonels. Game's up in your neck of the woods. Up in Bacon Academy. Cunningham Hodge with a long three. No good. Kilgore comes out of the pack with it, and Campbell looks to push. Campbell with an other ugly pass, and this game's a little sloppy right now as we see the senior Kevin Hutchins back into the ballgame. He replaces brother Trevor. 29-15 right now, and you know New London has chipped. They've scored two buckets here to start the, the second quarter and got this game to somewhat respectability. Very sloppy right now. Both teams looking to press. We're going to get a substitution in the game for Ledger. Austin Brandt into the ball game for Ledger. He's wearing number 23. Into the ball game for New London. We have a substitution as well. Nick Fleetwood comes out of the game. I think the sloppiness kind of favors you know, New London a little bit. Roman. Martinez for a long three, short. Out of the pack comes McNair. McNair one-on-one -on -one with Cunningham Hodge and a backside block by Cruz. Cunningham Hodge flips it up ahead. They try to get it to Roman. Roman goes up strong against Hutchins and he'll go to the line. Major Roman fouled. You know, Casey, this game has gotten a little bit sloppy and I think it's favoring the, uh, you know, the Whalers. They like it like that. They like it down and dirty and you know, they're getting away from the basketball element a little bit, but kind of favors in London right now. Yeah, they want to play as sloppy as they can because they're not as talented on the floor as Ledger. Ledger right. can beat them in a straight game, so they want to make this thing a little bit uglier, get Ledger out of its sure. comfort zone. Yeah. Hank, Hank Fleetwood. Roman makes the second. And you see Hank Fleetwood in the game for New London, number 32. So you've got one Fleetwood replacing the other Fleetwood, and you've got a Hutchins replacing the other Hutchins. So we've got rotating name changes here. Fleetwood Mac, game's all here. McNair, three ball from the left wing, no good. Rebound, Cunningham Hodge right through his hands. McNair comes up with it over the top of Roman who blocks it, and Cruz comes out of the pack with it. And we're going to get a timeout in New London. So let's... Set the lineups right now uh, for New London. You've got Hank Fleetwood in the ball game, along with Elijah Martinez, Cunningham Hodge, Roman, and these are some different names than we're used to seeing. Right. And throw on top of it, New London's wearing the, the gold uniforms tonight, which is not a uniform they normally wear, and a lot of the numbers are not the same. Sure, so, well, I'm with you. So we're, we're, but we got it now. We're, we're, we're our crack staff, and we're, we're taking care of it. Yeah, we're about midway through the second quarter right now, and London is outscoring Ledger 5 to nothing. And the way they're doing that is 
you know, they're making the game a little sloppier. They're making the game a little bit ugly out there. And like you said, they're taking away from the, the skill portion of the game and making it a little bit of a scrap heap right now. Well, one thing that the New London fans and the Ledger cheerleaders know how to do is that no matter what the score is, it's always a good time to bust a move. Yeah. You watch the Grammys last night? I did watch the Grammys because ah, I'm a music fan, unlike yourself. It who are an elitist, an elitist snob wearing your, <laughs> wearing your socks up to your knees and yelling for kids to get off your lawn. They love real and music. Rock and roll hasn't been the same since Metallica. <laughs> Tim Cook knows. Cunningham Hodge with a nice move to the left hand. Six points for Hodge. He's got his team right back in the game within striking distance right now. New London on a 7-0 run. An 11-point ledger lead. Hard to believe the Whalers have cut it into that. Vitorito into the game, thinks twice, pulls up, and gets the friendly roll over Roman. Anthony Vitorito, a fan favorite as well as a favorite here on game day. Nice shooting touch. He can knock it down from the, uh, from the charity stripe and from the three-point line as well. Fleetwood tries to break down Brandt. Cunningham Hodge gets a screen, little pick and roll with Roman. Roman throws up and misses the layup, but... Draws the foul, and Major Roman will go back to the line. Nice pick and roll that time. Up high, high screen and roll between Cunningham, Hodge, and Roman. Yeah, pick and roll, and then a slip to the rim by the big fella. Roman's with sixth trip to the line so far in the ballgame. Say that five times fast. <laughs> slip to the rim. And sixth trip. Sixth trip to the foul line. This is the first one, and we've got a, another Hutchins exchange. Trevor in for Kevin. Next time, Roman will shoot two. If that happens. Misses the next one. Loose ball on the floor, and Campbell comes out with it. No one wanted that rebound. Fleetwood just misses the interception. Campbell knocked out of bounds by Cunningham Hodge, and they're going to say off of Brant, and it's going to be a Whaler basketball. Yeah, well, double tip there on the sidelines for the uh, for the Colonels. Hard to believe with 3.30 remaining in the first half that New London is still somewhat in this basketball yeah, game. Yeah, just two points here in the second quarter for the Legend Colonels after erupting for 29 in the first half. Cunningham Hodge. Cruz, Martinez, back to Fleetwood. Gets a nice screen from Roman, goes baseline, finds Roman, puts it on the floor, finds Cruz in the lane, little pull up from the lane, no good, and out of the pack comes Brandt. New London did everything right but score. Fleetwood, stolen back by Campbell, an ugly mess of a game right now, and they're going to get Hank Fleetwood with a little push on McNair on the sideline, and it'll be Ledger basketball. First foul on Hank Fleetwood. Both teams in the bonus situation right now. Fleetwood just making a play on the sidelines. A little overzealous. Melquan Gomez back into the ball game, replacing Elijah Martinez. Gomez had two early fouls. He did some nice work when he was on the floor, but two early fouls got him to the bench, and Coach Parker's going to see if he can deliver here in the last three minutes of the first half. He's played better of late. Uh, Milkwine had a nice game against New London. Uh, I'm sorry, against Waterford last week. In a losing effort. Now, i got to tell you, that is how I expect Coach Dave Cornish to dress for a basketball game. Yeah, that is stunning. His wife taking pictures behind him. I take pictures Selfies, of him, too. He yeah. looks fantastic. What, what, color, what color is that? That's like a fusion. That, no, there is no fusion is what happens when two atoms. <laughs> that's a physical reaction with atoms. <laughs> Fuchsia is the color. Fuchsia, you're thank you. Fusion. <laughs> oh. You knew what I meant. No, nah, yeah, only because I, I've learned to speak sports doctor. <laughs> nice jump shot for three, Ariel Cruz. And that cuts the lead to 12. <laughs> As our producer, Peter Wappy, points out, when the sports doctor is involved, it's confusion. I like that. I'm never confused. I know what that, I know to speed sports, Doctor. Long three, no good by Cunningham Hodge, but he strips. McNair takes another three, in and out. Oh, I thought that one was going to go down. Out of the pack, Ledger going to push. Again, Casey, why do these teams continue to try and dribble through the press? Cunningham Hodge ahead of the pack. Lays it in on a nice feed from Gomez. Gomez, of course, the Whaler quarterback on the football team. Touchdown that time, and the lead is 10. Pass the ball, young men. Pass the ball. Do not dribble through the press. Cunningham Hodge is causing all kinds of disruption with the reach around as the guy passes him, little, little knocks the ball away. Yep. And Ariel Cruz has really put together, he's got a nice touch. He's put together a nice game. Vitorito, short, 
from the foul line, and the ball ends up in Roman's hands. And as we go under two minutes, New London can bring this thing into single digits. Hard to believe after that overwhelming run we saw in the first period. Only four points in the second quarter for the legend Colonels. Gomez puts the ball to the floor. It's going to go off the knee of Hutchins. It'll stay Whaler basketball. Turner back into the ball game, re replacing Vitorito. I love the work that Kenny, Kenny Turner really knows his way on the basketball court. Only a freshman. Expect real big things for him over the coming years because he just has a real head for the, how to play this game. Yeah, yeah, good sense, good basketball sense. He gets it, he as does. most kids, people would say. Yeah, I know he really does. He knows where to be on the, on the floor. Fleetwood guarded by the aforementioned Turner. New London's going to pull it out. I think Coach Parker would go into halftime right here if he could. Fleetwood finds Roman off his hands and out of bounds. It's going to be a turnover, Ledger basketball. Yeah, and those unforced errors are wasted trips for the Whalers. Had a chance to cut it down to under 10 points there. and Just a bad look, bad pass. Well, people forget Major Roman is a football player who plays basketball. Sure. You know, he's an elite football player. He's a Division I football player, only a junior here. But he's become a very good basketball player, but it's not his first sport. And he does not have all the skills yet, as we see Fleetwood with the steal. Drives on Campbell. Wild layup is good. And the Whalers have cut it to eight. Campbell going the other way. You know, there are still some skills. He's only a junior that Roman's going to have to learn. He's going to have to learn how to catch the ball better. He's going to have to learn how to make himself more of a presence on the offensive end. But a lot of talent there for Major Roman, and certainly no questioning his desire. Campbell pulls up the other way. No good. Weak side rebound comes down to Roman, and Cunningham Hodge comes out of the pack with it for New London. New London down eight. Hard to believe after the overwhelming 27-2 run to end the first period that had Ledger up almost 20. New London now down only eight with the basketball as they go into halftime. Cunningham Hodge comes off of a screen. Cruz pulls up for three, short rims it, and that's how we're going to go into halftime. Your score at halftime, Ledger 33, New London 25. Hard to believe the Whalers have cut it to eight, and Keith O'Brien's going to be with head coach Dave Cornish, who I cannot think is very happy right now. He's not happy with the first half. Let's see what he has to say. The sports doctor, whenever you're ready, give us what you got. Legend coach Dave Cornish coached 29 points in the first quarter, only six in the second. Got to make shots. What was the difference? How was New London able, able to get back in the game? Well, we made bad decisions offensively, plus we have uh, a couple guys, our scorers, on the bench. So that equates to getting six points in the you know, second quarter. They seem to get, turn the game into a little bit of an ugly, a little bit of a scrap, scrap heap out there. Yeah, they outworked us in the second quarter. And um, so we got to get back to what we do in the third quarter, second half. All right, Coach, good luck in the second half. Casey, it was almost like two halves out there. You saw a smooth, crisp ledger team in the first quarter. And in the second quarter, you saw an entirely different ball game. Very interesting. I'm, I'm sure Coach Craig Parker is happy to be down by eight points right now here at the half. Yeah, thank you, Sports Doctor. A tale of two quarters. The first quarter finished all ledgered. The second quarter dominated more by New London. And that's where we are, 33 to 25 at halftime. These games have always been wild. Expect more. Come on back for the halftime show in the second half of action. You're watching Game Day live on theday.com. My name is Deanna Shepard Smith. I have two kids at Nathan Hale Elementary School in New London. They come from out of town, so they get up really early, get the bus, they come to school. The way that they teach the students here, it's concentrated on how the child learns. So each child is treated individually on how they learn and how they excel. I would say absolutely hands down, do what you can to get in. Without a doubt, I can't even begin to express how big the impact is. Chevrolets do cost less at MJ Sullivan's. A 2016 Chevrolet Cruze Limited LS leads for $95 a month or drive for only $48.49. That's right, drive for only $4,849. Your Chevrolet leader for over 30 years. MJ Sullivan, Chevrolet Cadillac Buick. Well, that young fan is certainly wondering the same thing we're wondering. Which Ledger team is going to show up in quarter number three? Quarter number one, the Ledger Colonels dominated. Quarter number two, New London got a chance to chip it back. Sports Doctor, that was an ugly half. Yeah, and I think that game started off playing out the way New London wanted to, and then Ledger got things going the way they wanted it to, and then 
the game went back into the London's hands. A very game, weird game of swings. Well, this game has been about a lot of storylines in the past few years, none of which bigger than Coach Dave Cornish and Coach Troy McKelvin, New London guys coming over to Ledger. Let's find out a little bit more. Now, their Coach Dave Cornish and Troy McKelvin, you know, they know that in order to get the Colonels to true prominence, they need to win this game. They need to unseat New London. And they should know. They both admit they bleed green and gold. Guys, how does quite arguably the most decorative athlete in New London high school sports history and a 14-year guy on the bench at New London. How do you guys end up here at Legend High School? I got a call from um, Jimmy Bunicor, you know, asking me that, you know, the position was open. He told me to think about it. I told him I would. Next day, you know, I didn't give him a call back. He called me again. Did you think about it? You know, I said, I would. And he called me back again. He said, I think you really should think about it. So, and, you know, that's how it actually happened. So the coaching position opened up, and then you take the head coaching job here at Ledger, 14 years on the bench in New London. You decide to call Troy. Troy's going to be your guy to be the JV coach. That and he didn't have to call me because we always was around each other. We've been friends since we were kids. We grew up together. So naturally, when he got the job here, he was looking for an assistant. Um, it was natural that, you know, we, one day we were talking and he was looking for, Coach, who you think, who you think? And I was like, Coach, why, why not me? And he was like, you gonna put in for it? You know, because he was thinking, oh, no way I'll get you to I go to Ledger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I didn't, think, I didn't think I could get him. You know, Dave, you started, you know, as a senior in high school, on the bench keeping the book for Coach Ralph Ajero. You know, how much of that have you brought to Ledger? I learned a lot under him. You know, just being around it, just, I, I even, I went scouting with him, you know, him and um, Parker, we went scouting, Jimmy O'Neill. So I was around those guys a lot, and I learned a lot of stuff during that time. Coach Ruggiero is the one who taught me the game. Right. He taught anybody who played for him, and in our generation that came to New London High School, or in that area, because he used to young, um, run a youth clinic at the Martin Center when he was, when he was first starting um, as, a high, as a coach. He used to run a youth clinic, and anybody who grew up during that time was taught the game yeah. by him. And no matter if you were very good or you weren't, you learned the game. You guys have been here five years. You guys have 97 wins in short of five years. Think about what you've built a little bit. You take the team on the road, you travel in some of these bigger tournaments, whether it's Xavier, whether it's CCRI earlier this year. You know, how important is it to get the team out uh, and the program out in the last couple of years around the state a little bit? I think it was huge um, being, you know, noticed around the state, statewide by us going to these tournaments. And if we stayed here in the ECC, you know, yeah, we, we could, you know, build a little, you know, legacy here in this area, but we wanted to go statewide. And as you, you know, you've noticed the last few years, we've been getting votes in the polls and things like that because people see us. Is that how you gain respect as a program? I mean, we're from New London. I mean, there's no question about that. And we want it to be known coming here. We want, we want to feel the same way we felt growing up. So it was no question that we were going to play whoever we could play and, and expose the kids to, to more than just area talent. We wanted to play the, against the best we possibly could. And that's what we tried to do at New London. And when we brought that over here, I mean, Jimmy's been doing it in football. You got to play the best if you want to be the best. And I think it's helped because we're, we're getting noticed. Our kids are getting noticed across the state now. How important is it tonight in this game to beat New London? How important is it, are you going to give me the line or just another team on the schedule? I mean, but how important is it to the program? How important is it to the kids? How important is it to the coaches to, to beat New London? Maybe as far as bragging rights goes, it's important. But it, again, I mean, it is. It's another game on the schedule. It's another big game. We, we, we've got another one on Thursday with NFA and then Bacon next week. So they're all big to us from here on out. It's big. <laughs> Our choice, not gonna, I mean, you're I not going to lie. To me, it's big. I mean, there's, no, there's not a team that we haven't beat. Right. And we haven't beaten New London. And it means something. I mean, they're, they're the measuring stick. They're the best basketball program in this area. And we want to be known as the best basketball program in this area. And in order to do that, we got to beat them. And we got to get our kids confident knowing that we can beat them. And um, we got to show that, you know, we can't claim to be the best if we, we haven't beaten the, 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 the best program in the, in the area historically. Troy, you've talked, I mean, I've seen you up at CCRI, and the London has never left you. You've always stayed with London a little bit. I've seen you, you know, egging on the kids. I knew London played in the game earlier before you guys did, and you're still talking to the kids on the court, like you're still part of them. 
I mean, you know a lot of those kids. I mean, I bleed green and gold. I mean, I, I, I coach basketball at Ledger, and I love it here. They, they have been great to us. And I couldn't really ever see any coaching anywhere else based on how great it is here with these kids and, and, and this administration. Um, but that will never come out of me. That's where I'm from. Right. They're, going, they're growing up. Some of them are my family members. Um, I coach them in youth. I referee their youth basketball games. Um, they're, they're my friends' kids. They're my, my relatives' kids. So that's never going to get out of me. I'm, I mean, I'm passionate about sports and basketball, but I'm probably more passionate about New London. You like being here. Great job, Sports Doctor. Now, I've known both of these guys for 30 years, and they are New London through and through, but it must be tough now wearing the blue and gold sometimes. Yeah, you know what? I had a chance to sit down with those guys earlier this week, and, you know, Troy and Dave were both very candid about, you know, where they came from and where they are now. It was a, it was a great inside look. Um, there's a lot more to that video than we just showed, too, but, you know, a real, real honest uh, opinion from Troy McKelvin and yeah. Dave Cornish. Yeah, I thought you did a great job Thank of you. getting that out of them. And this is, you know, the first half illustrates until they finally beat New London, it is still the last hurdle remaining in Ledger High School basketball. So we've got a lot to see and a lot to talk about. Come on back for the second half of action. You're watching Game Day right here on theday.com. My name is Deanna Shepard Smith. I have two kids at Nathan Hale Elementary School in New London. They come from out of town, so they get up really early, get the bus, they come to school. The way that they teach the students here, it's concentrated on how the child learns. So each child is treated individually on how they learn and how they excel. I would say absolutely hands down, do what you can to get in. Without a doubt, I can't even begin to express how big the impact is. Chevrolets do cost less at MJ Sullivan's. 2016 Chevrolet Cruze Limited LT. Lease for $119 a month or drive for only $56.21. That's right, drive for only $5,621. Your Chevrolet leader for over 30 years. MJ Sullivan, Chevrolet Cadillac Buick. Welcome back to game day. You're watching the day.com. Casey O'Neill along with the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien, and the New London High School Whalers in the head of the Ledger Colonels there in the second period, cutting what was a huge Ledger lead down to eight. And we're about ready to bring you second half action. Sports Doctor, diagnose the first half. Well, uh, first half is just uh, streaky, <laughs> streakiness. Obviously, New London gets out to a quick start, up 9-2. Uh, Ledger goes on a big run. They put up 29 points in the first quarter. They only score, uh, what, four points in the second quarter. Four points, Casey O'Neill. So New London's gotten back in this game through a little grit, a little guttiness, uh, a little scrapping, and some easy looks and easy opportunities at the rim, which they're going to need to continue to do. Well, you know, we said in the open, throw the records out the window. Yeah. Uh, this game is all about possibilities. It's all about this individual game because the reality is New London High School is the measuring stick. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, if you, if you got to lose in order to win, well, Ledger's has lost enough to New London already. So, I mean, if, if winning is a process, you know, they went through the process this year. You know, and Coach Dave and Coach Troy, they, you know, on paper have the better team right now. But, again, it's getting over that hump of actually beating New London on the court, Casey O'Neill. New London will have the ball to start the second half. They're going to start with Gomez, Lopez, Cunningham, Hodge, Roman, and Cruz, their original starting five. Ledger, Kenny Turner will start the second half. Scott Whipple still on the bench with those three fouls. Driving straight to the basket, Melquan Gomez with a little running left-hander. Nice aggressiveness. New London, a different team with Gomez in the basketball game. Lead down already to six. And if New London gets a stop here, let's see how Ledger responds. Cruz and Hodge, leading score, Hodge Cunningham leading scores for New London. Nice job swinging the ball. Good look that time by Fletcher. It doesn't go down. New London had a fast break, but uh, wasn't seen by... Melquan Gomez, who then trips to the floor and turns it over. That's a big turnover right there. New London had a chance to cut it to four. Instead, Ledger gets the ball back. I loved the look that Fletcher had. Yeah, unforced errors again haunting the Whalers. Turner, Fletcher, Campbell around the perimeter. Yeah, and Fletcher's a kid that Ledger's going to need to get going here a little bit. He showed flashes earlier in the season against Fitch. Pull up three, Ice Campbell, no good. Tipped around, Roman gets the rebound. Up ahead it goes to Cunningham Hodge. 
Coach Parker wants them to push. Big offensive possession here for New London. Gio Lopez running the point. He has three fouls as well, so foul trouble hurt both teams in the first half. Gomez swings it on top. New London running a little weave. Gio Lopez, Cruz. New London really dictating pace here, Casey, in the half-court set to the Ledger defense. Gomez fires a pass. Gio Lopez drives baseline. Rejected by Hutchins out of bounds. The rim protector, the big fella. Take that one back, he says. Kenevin Hutchins emphatically rejects the shot by Gio Lopez. Gomez inbounds. Finds Cunningham Hodge stripped and tipped. And finally, it'll stay Ledger basketball as that ball was a double tip. So New London back-to-back -back turnovers after scoring the first bucket of the half. Unforced errors for the Whalers. Wasted trips, Casey O'Neill. Gio Lopez has the assignment on Fletcher as New London playing a rotating 2-3 zone. I like Melquan Gomez up the top of that big zone. Yeah, got long arms, long arms out there. Tough to, tough to shoot those jump shots from out there. Got to go to the corners, which is what they do with Fletcher. Fletcher drives, loses the ball on the floor, throws it up, no good, tipped. And nice job, there's Kenny Turner, Kenny on the spot. Nine points for young Ken Turner. And here comes the legend press. And we're gonna get a reach in foul on Fletcher, even though Gomez was a little bit out of control. Melquan Gomez, whose father was the best Little League pitcher I ever faced. You know, that's the thing too with some of these young kids out there, especially in the high school level. Move your feet, don't reach so much. If the man is beating you down the floor, I mean, nine times out of ten, Casey, they're, they're going to call that foul. So what, what kind of coach are you? Are you a Bobby Knight guy? Are you a, uh, you know, a Mike Krzyzewski guy? What, what, what kind of coach is the sports doctor? Oh, okay. nice lob inside. Roman up and fouled, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, I'm not a, not a Bobby Knight guy. I'm not a screamer. I'm not a yeller. I'm more of a, more of a Jimmy Valvano. Jimmy Valvano. Inspirator, motivator. Inspirational, run them, yeah. run, running around on the court, sweating on your yeah. teammates. Yeah. Hug, hugging them, high-fiving them. Climb the mountain together. I like that. I can see that. I can see that. Roman at the line to shoot two. First one up and good. And that cuts the ledger lead to 7, 35 to 28. With five minutes left, Waterford has a five-point lead, 55-50 at Bacon Academy in a battle of the M and L leaders. Second one by Roman is no good, and Fletcher comes out with it. One out of two is not bad for Major. I always like Jimmy Valvano's style. I, I like his, his inspiration, his motivation. Absolutely, I could see that. You strike me as a Valvano guy. Sure. Well, then you got to like Krzyzewski, even though you don't like Duke. Ah, uh, maybe. Turner cuts to the basket, and no good. Tipped, and Cunningham Hodge comes out with it. I know you. I mean, I know you. I mean, you got to, as a coach, you got to appreciate him. You know, Roman inside it goes in. Smart move by Lopez to bring it outside, and then he loses it out of bounds. Again, three unforced turnovers, three turnovers without even getting a shot off um, in this half alone in the first two minutes and fifty seconds for the Whalers. Can't have that, Casey. Say what you want about Shashevsky. Great program, perennial winners. Guys go on and play great in the pros. I mean, never, what are you talking about UConn guys? Never so what are you seen any problem. Trying to get me going? No, I mean, UConn's a good, got a, had a good coach, too. Long three by Fletcher, no good. Turner with the rebound. Turner loses it on a blocked shot, and out of the pack comes Cunningham Hodge. Up ahead it goes to Major Roman. Roman tries to find Gomez and out of bounds. Nice job by Turner hustling back. You know, Ledger just had a really hard time scoring here. I mean, they had 29 points to end the first quarter. We've gone a quarter and a half with only six points for the Colonels. Yeah, different team without Scotty Whipple in the ball game to uh, get some, some athleticism inside, sloshing to the basket. Why? Without pressing, without you know, running and trapping and all the above. Long three is good for Cunningham Hodge, and that cuts the lead to four. 11 for Isaiah Cunningham Hodge from the parking lot. That means there are three Isaiahs on the floor right now. Right? A trio of Isaiahs? Booga, Ice, and Isaiah. So I only see <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to simplify things for us. Oh, out of the pack. Gio Lopez stripped. Ice Campbell, and he's fouled. 
Whaler basketball with a chance to cut into this four-point lead. You know, it's amazing since the first quarter how well New London has had a chance to dictate this pace on both ends of the floor. On offense, they're really taking their time. On defense, they're making things sloppy. And Ledger's not helping themselves out, Casey, by trying to dribble through the press and not pass it. Yeah, not playing like a 10-7 and seven team. The Whalers appear to be a better team than that. Don't let these kids hang around. No, because New London believes they can win this game. Yeah. Cunningham Hodge wants a three. Gets it inside to Roman. Back out to Cunningham Hodge. A bad pass intercepted by Fletcher. Fletcher on Lopez. Gomez comes back. Shot no good. And Cruz comes down with a rebound. Nice job by Melquan Gomez coming back on the help defense, altering the shot from Fletcher. Hustling out there, Melquan Gomez. Like I said, quarterback. Ledger trying to strip the basketball is McNair out of bounds. We saw him on one of the great plays against Ledger yeah. on that read option where he kept the ball, and the whole world thought he had given it to the running back, and he kept it himself, and he was about out of gas at the 50-yard line. He made it all the way down inside the 10 before he was finally run down. And we realized that even though he's a quarterback, he's not fast. We all thought he was a, it was a, a running quarterback. He's actually a thrower. You can see now on the basketball court, he's a big kid. Yeah, he's a big kid, athletic too. Long pass goes to Gomez. Gio Lopez finds Cruz. Three-pointer from the wing. No good. And a nice job by Cunningham Hodge. Stripping Turner, but he loses it out of bounds. It'll be Ledger basketball. Right now, the Whalers are out hustling Ledger. Yeah, Casey, the longer this game stays like this, does doubt creep into the mind of the Ledger players and the New London players start believing that they can win? Well, the New London players have never thought for one second, even, yeah. even down almost 20, that they were going to lose this game. After the games, after the games they lose, they still ha don't believe that they lost the game. Ledger thinks they can win. They probably think they should win. They probably think they're going to win. But they haven't won one yet. And until they actually do that, they will always remain sort of unfulfilled promise. Campbell with a pull up, no good. Nice job by Turner, but out of the pack. Whalers have it, Gio Lopez over McNair. Nice block, but the follow up, Melquan Gomez on the trail, and it's a two point basketball game. Timeouts, Ledger Colonels, a exuberant Melquan Gomez who has out hustled the Ledger High School team on two occasions and cut into this Ledger lead, it's two. Six points in almost, what, 14 minutes for the Ledger Colonels after putting up 29 in the first quarter. What has happened to this Ledger offense? It seems like they're a little shell-shocked right now, and I can't put all that on Scotty Whipple, just not having one guy on the floor. I mean, somebody has got to step up right now, whether it's just Stephen Fletcher, whether it's Isaiah McNair or Isaiah Campbell, and take over and lead this team. It's like they got off to that big lead and almost took the gas, the foot off the gas pedal, Casey. Well, I'll tell you what it is. The Whalers are in a very difficult zone, a matchup zone, because they've got yeah. size on the uh, with Melcon Gomez at the top of this zone, and they got a shot blocker, rim protector, and Major Roman underneath. So what's happened is Ledger has been content swinging the ball on the perimeter. They haven't really broken down the zone by either passing yep. it to the, to the foul line or getting into the middle. Now, Scotty Whipple's back in the game. He's the only player who's been comfortable getting to the basket. Challenging, cut, yes. Cutting to the basket, yep. and that's opened up other things. So right now, the offense has just been stagnant. And one guy who has to take some of that responsibility is Booga McNair. He has really not gotten into the flow of offense here in the second half. Scotty Whipple in the high post. They like him there against the zone. Immediately get him the ball. He's challenged, and he draws a foul, just like that. And if that's on Gomez, which it is, that's going to be Gomez's third, so something to watch. Whipple's going to go to the line. You know, the one thing with Scotty Whipple, too, no matter when it is or, or what kind of game situation is going on, he's always aggressive. And maybe that hurts him a little bit, but let's see if it helps his team, you know, in the last uh, 10 minutes or so to go. The versatility yeah. that Whipple brings as he gets a fortuitous roll, the versatility he brings when he flashes to the foul line and he makes the catch there, he can turn and shoot a jump shot. He can slash to the basket and score. He can slash to the basket and pass outside to Fletcher and McNair. It opens up their offense in a tremendous way. It's hard to believe that one player is that pivotal, but his energy is also uh, the energy infectious. Is, yeah, the energy is key. Three minutes played so far in this game, and he has seven points. He got the lead back up to four. The Whalers now. Swinging the basketball on the perimeter. Cross court it goes. Cruz thought about a three-pointer. Drives to the basket. Pulls up, and he's going to get called for a walk. 
Ariel Cruz with a little slip and slide on the floor. And we're going to get Hank Fleetwood back into the ball game for New London replacing Gio Lopez. Yeah, the fourth uh, unforced error, forced turnover by the New London Whalers here in the third quarter. Very important for them. Take care of the basketball. Get some good looks. Keep well, themselves in the game. It was a, at a moment just like this where Ledger turned the Jets on in the first quarter. Let's see if how they play it here in the second. In the corner it goes to Fletcher. Nice to McNair on the wing and a three-pointer. There it is. There's the swing. Fine Booger McNair and that's a spot he likes. Drains a three. Inserts, insert Scotty Whipple and then the rest of the team starts playing, I guess. It's, a, it's not just the energy. It's the trickle down of what he can do, the threat offensively. The X Factor, as the sports doctor would call him. Fleetwood over to Cunningham Hodge. Long three, no good. Weak side rebound tipped, and Whipple comes down with it, looking to run. Whipple has the ball, the open floor. Loses it, finds Hutchins, who loses it again, and out of the pack comes Major Roman. I thought there was a foul that the officials let go, letting these guys be a little physical. Cunningham Hodge. Fleetwood finds Major Roman. Roman spins. Kicks it out to Melquan Gomez, who foregoes a three. Cross court, it goes to Fleetwood. Back to Cunningham Hodge. The Thought Whal about it. Whalers don't have a lot of shooters, as evidenced by the open looks that they're passing up. Hodge would be the guy to take it. They don't think Melquan Gomez can shoot it. Cruz for three from the corner. No good. Air ball. McNair comes out of the pack. New London needs to find another shooter to go with Cunningham Hodge. It might be Martinez. Fletcher, pull up three. No good, and Roman with the basketball for New London. That would have brought it back up to 10. Big miss that time by Fletcher. Yeah, good look by Fletcher. Catch and shoot, let it rip. Just didn't drop for him. Keep it up. He'll knock one down. Fleetwood all the way to the basket, and we're going to get an offensive foul. Charge. Nice job that time. Trevor Hutchins. Not a lot of awareness that time by Fleetwood. You got to no. know down seven with this amount of time. You want one shot here. And they're going to get Fleetwood out of the ball game and Martinez back in for the Whalers. Yeah, situational basketball. Very important here for New London, especially in the last possession or a chance to have the last possession. Cut the lead to, to five, maybe four going in and start the fourth quarter. Now that's a turnover. Give the ball back to Ledger. Ledger with a chance to build on a seven-point lead, keeping things about where it was at halftime. Campbell little floater in the lane, no good. Strong rebound underneath by Hutchins. Kicks it back out. Whipple thought about it. Pulls up for three. No good. Roman comes down with it. Gets it ahead to Martinez under three seconds. Martinez is going to have to shoot it. Throws it up at the buzzer. No good. And that's the end of period number three. Well, New London chips one point off of that eight-point halftime deficit for a 40-33 to ledger lead. We should have an exciting fourth quarter. So come on back on the other side. You're watching game day right here on theday.com. Chevrolets do cost less at MJ Sullivan's. 2016 Chevrolet Malibu Limited LT for only $157 a month or drive for only $6,207. You heard me right. Drive it for only $6,207. Your Chevrolet leader for over 30 years. MJ Sullivan, Chevrolet Cadillac Buick. Do I ever tell you that Don't believe you'll miss me when I'm gone The Ledger student section, led of course by quarterback Ty Ebden. Right now they're happy with a seven point colonel lead, but Unhappy because Ledger refuses to get into a rhythm sports doc. Now, you know, what, it, London had a, was down by eight at the half. They cut the lead to seven, and they just kept doing their thing. It's a, uh, it's a very strange game. It's very strange to see how the productivity on the offensive end for Ledger has just stopped, Casey. New London switches up the defense, goes man. Campbell pulls up from the foul line, no good. Weak side rebound, comes out Gio Lopez, and Whipple over the back is going to pick up his fourth foul. I mean, he has got to find a way to stay on the court. Those reach-in fouls are only going to hurt your team. Immediately, Kenny Turner into the ball game, replacing Whipple. 60 feet from the basket, Casey. The, 60 you know, feet, Case. Yeah, sometime, at some point, I mean, I'm sure they have, but Coach Dave Corner says, you can't be my most important player if you can't stay on the floor. they got to be able to trust you. Cunningham Hodge swings it. Lopez. They're going to let Gomez with that ball all the time. Cunningham Hodge 
Breaks down Campbell, floater in the lane, up and no good. And a rebound comes down to Hutchins. Cunningham Hodge had a nice look. Dave Corner says, let's go, push. Turner, three-pointer from the wing. No good, a rebound, Cruz. Coach Dave Corner, you want his team to push. You want his team to run. You want to dictate the pace. Nice look inside to Roman. Blocked by McNair, but he's going to go to the line. Great look that time. A nice pass from the quarterback, Melquan Gomez. Yeah, that's Major Roman doing work underneath. You know, the, the, the easy look, the strong move, the trip to the line. Very important that he knocks down at least one of these. Roman struggling from the foul line, about 50%. First one up and no good. He is 6 for 12 from the line. He is shooting exactly 50%. Troy McKelvin, a, the demonstrative was the word you sure, used. Sure, demonstrative. Second one by Roman up, bouncing around, tipped, and out of the pack comes Campbell. Empty trip for the Whalers as Roman really struggling from the foul line. Six for 13 for Major Roman from the charity stripe. Gomez, nice steal, cut in front of the pass, intercepted on the pass for Turner. They try to get that foul line pass and no good. Cunningham Hodge with a long three. Good. Got it. Three from the parking lot for Isaiah Cunningham Hodge and it's a four point Ledger lead. 14 points for Cunningham Hodge and I see Scotty Whipple at the scorer's bench ready to check in. Dave Cornish says we need you to finish this game son. As soon as he gets in the game New London should attack him on any possession. Whatever whoever he's guarding they should attack him on every possession. Get him out of the basketball game. Boy, New London's just kind of hanging around, hanging around, hanging around, Casey. Alli alligator blood. Hanging around. McNair. Campbell. Ledger happy to take a little air out. Nice look inside. It goes to Turner and wisely goes right up with it. Kenny Turner's a smart basketball player. Yeah, and Ken Turner as a freshman has stepped up his game at, at points, you know, during this uh, you know, game against New London, you know, no productivity from, from Whipple when he's on the bench. You know, Booker McNair struggled a little bit. Stephen Fletcher struggled a little bit. But Kenny Turner is showing his coaching staff that he will rise up and, and take the big shots. He's not afraid as a freshman. No, he's not. You know, I, I look at the Ledger roster as we see Scotty Whipple coming back in for Ice Campbell. You know, Booger McNair, a junior. Stephen Fletcher, a junior. Ice Campbell, a junior. You know, you got Turner, he was only a freshman, and... Hutchins, who's only a sophomore. This Ledger team next year is going to be outstanding again, even without Scotty Whipple. They're going to be very, very good next yeah, year. Yeah, they're, they're, they're loaded. And I've watched the JV team blow out more than a share of opponents. Sure. Gio Lopez, foul line jump shot, no good. Rebound loose on the floor, and out of the pack comes Fletcher. New London can't quite get it to that one possession. New London really does not have a scorer outside of Isaiah Cunningham Hodge who can shoot it. And other than Roman who can make, you know, make it around the basket, they do not have any real scorers. Fletcher really struggling from the outside today. Not a great game for Stephen Fletcher. But there he picks off the pass. Gets it ahead to McNair. Lazy pass by Melquan Gomez who's back on defense and takes the charge on Isaiah McNair. Great job. Melquan Gomez made a very lazy pass but hustled back. We've seen that from him all night. Hustled back and stood his ground and took the charge. Yeah, make a mistake on one end of the floor, come back and make a forward up on the other. Melquan Gomez has shown us a thing or two in this ball game. He's played very well. New London has gotten this thing to four a number of times. They have not been able to get back to one possession. Let's see if they can get a basket here. I look for Roman here to get involved. Get the big fellow the ball and try and get an easy bucket. I say attack Scotty Whipple. Get him his fifth foul if you can. Cross court pass it goes. Cruz double teamed. Wild pass. Picked off by Fletcher. Fletcher back. Stripped by Melquan Gomez. And a foul on McNair. And that's going to send New London to the foul line. Little double headed uh, mistake that time by the Colonels. First, Stephen Fletcher gets stripped on one end and then Booger McNair commits the foul on the other. You can see Coach Cornish has a game plan in mind. Whenever Ariel Cruz has the basketball, he wants McNair to pressure him because he doesn't think he's a good ball handler. Right. Whenever Melquan Gomez has the ball in the perimeter, they, get, they lay off of him because they don't think he has a jump shot. They have definitely 
are playing defense the way they want, but New London's ability to pressure and cause just a sloppy game has really gotten uh, New Ledger out of its rhythm. I mean, since the first quarter when Le Ledger had put up 29 points, New London has dictated the pace and the tempo of this ball game. Ledger can't run, they can't press, they can't do the things that make them successful as a team. Big first one for Cruz, knocks it down, cuts it to three. And I and I, I got to tell you, Ariel Cruz has impressed all of us. He's uh, improved dramatically from the first game we saw this year. But the thing about Major Roman is this. It's subtle. He's not an offensive player. But as a rim protector and rebounder, Very intimidating, he huh? gets every rebound. I mean, you know, he's just, just the presence back there uh, is really, uh, he's a force on the defensive end from just a rebounding standpoint. We're going to get a timeout ledger with 4.32 remaining, and New London has cut this thing to three. Hard to believe that they're this close. Yeah, tight as a drum Ledger is right now. I mean, it seems like since they got off to a hot start, 29 points in the first quarter. You know, they've only scored 11 points since then. The game has is, is, is gotten you know out of, out of hand for them a little bit. The rim has gotten tight. The, their inability to press, to get out. I mean, we saw them in the first quarter running, scoring labs, high flying, having a good time. I'll give you an example of what this is, what this is like, to, to equate it to a, to a boxing match. Sure. You've got a big underdog who has a pedigree as a, as a good fighter, but an underdog in a fight. And the favorite comes out and throws a haymaker right. and, and knocks the underdog right to the turf. And the underdog gets up and starts chipping away, chipping away, winning round after round on points. After a while, the favorite's going, uh-oh, I, I, I have to make a move here. Kind of like the original Rocky with Apollo Creed and Rocky, where Rocky just kind of chips, 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 chips. Well, except... That, rot that Rocky didn't have the pedigree yeah, as, a great ch as a great right. champion. But that's really more like in Rocky II when, when, I got you. when Apollo's thinking, you know, he's going to come back. We have a final big score here. Waterford High School hangs on for a 70-69 to one-point victory at Bacon Academy. Big win for the streaking Lancers. We want to thank... Matt Johnson, that's Kevin Johnson, Waterford's Kevin Johnson's brother, who gave us updates throughout the course of the game. A big win for Waterford, keeping their streak alive, beating Bacon in Bacon. Is that 14 straight for the Lancers? They have been on fire. 13 all, straight. All started by a huge buzzer beater to beat NFA that we saw right here on game day. It's winning time now, Casey O'Neill. Four minutes left to go in the game. 12 straight wins by the Waterford Lancers, I'm sorry. McNair, Fletcher. Back to Fletcher in the corner. Whipple. Whipple drives. Cruz goes up. Nice job. I think Cruz would have been better off trying to draw a charge there, but nice job. He went up in the air, and Whipple scores with him. And Dave Cornish looking for the end one that time with Scotty Whipple in the air. Cunningham Hodge launches a long three. Got it! Isaiah Cunningham Hodge cuts the lead back to two. 17 points for Hodge on cue. Player to watch, Isaiah Cunningham Hodge. Back to a one-possession game. Melquan Gomez comes out to pressure Whipple. This is the point in the game where one thing is going to change the momentum, and there it might be. We're going to get McNair on an off-the-ball offensive foul, screening Isaiah Cunningham-Hodge. It's going to be New London basketball, and that's McNair's fourth foul. Now, we've been down this road last year with the Legend Colonels twice. Can they hold their composure, and can they close out a game against the New London Whalers? Senior Kevin Hutchins back into the ball game. He's going to replace Kenny Turner. I can't believe I'm saying this, but with 3.33 remaining in this game, New London has a chance to tie or take the lead. Elijah Martinez in, replacing Gio Lopez. Elijah Martinez in the game for New London. You know, you saw Ledger dismantle a good Fitch team last week. Right? Yeah, yeah, and then they, they went on the road in one of these slime. They they beat Woodstock yesterday by more than 20. It's um, this is why you play the games, Casey O'Neill. Cunningham Hodge up top. The Whalers have Elijah Martinez. He's a three-point threat. Cunningham Hodge thinks better of it. Lobs inside to Roman. Roman catches, puts it to the floor, goes up strong. No foul. Hutchins with a great defensive effort that time. Roman. Couldn't get the finish. That would have been a huge finish to tie the game. Instead, Ledger with a chance to extend a two-point lead. Great work underneath by Hutchins. New London's going to extend the pressure. Gomez with Fletcher. Fletcher uses the left hand, gets a screen, pulls up just inside three-point line, banks it, no good. Hutchins comes down with it, and a nice finish by the senior, Kevin Hutchins. Extends the lead to four. 
Yeah, Kevin Hutchins Sr. wants to beat New London. Maybe his last crack at him, wants to win it for his coach, wants to win it for his school. Doing dirty work down low for the Colonels. Right. Senior Scotty Whipple, senior Anthony Vitorito, senior Kevin Hutchins have never beaten New London. Dakota Kilgore, Martinez, back to Gomez. Gomez drives, jump step, kicks it wide open, Cruz from the corner, three ball short, gets his own rebound, swings it up top, Melquan Gomez finds underneath, he misses the bunny, Roman gets the rebound, puts it up, and the foul! What an interesting turn of events. Ariel Cruz misses a three-pointer, gets his own rebound, misses a wide-open layup, and instead Major Roman is at the foul line with a chance to cut it to one. A hustling, opportunistic Whaler squad getting to every loose ball, and the big fella, Major Roman, you know, he has quietly become a major factor in this ball game. You know, say what you will, no matter who wins this game, the New London Whalers will, as Roman banks it in, <laughs> cuts it to one. New London can say that they outworked Ledger tonight. No matter what happens, the Whalers out-hustled and outworked the Colonels. The Colonels might win this game, and it will be a huge win for them, but they, if Coach Dave Cornish is going to be unhappy with just the, the work ethic of Ledger, because New London really did get to every loose ball. Under two minutes in what we told you. We said throw the records out, folks. This was going to be a big one. Campbell drives the lane, draws the foul. And he's going to go to the line. The foul is going to be on Melquan Gomez, and he has four, and he needs to stay on the floor for New London. Yeah, a little bailout uh, possession that time for the Colonels. The offense seemed to bog down in the half-court set. Too much one-on-one, -on -one, not a lot of swing of the ball. That, that New London matchup zone, given the Colonels' fits right now. Now, speaking of fouls, New London will be in the double bonus. They'll be shooting two for the rest of the game, and Ledger hasn't, isn't going to shoot for a while as the Whalers only have four fouls. Two big ones here for Ice Campbell. First one is up and back rim, no good. Free throws, not foul shots, kids. This is a helter-skelter basketball game. I, I can't believe that it's a one-point game. For one quarter, Ledger played like the Lakers of old, and for the last three, they can't get out of their own way. 142, a two-point basketball game. We've seen two-point games for a while, but New London has not been able to tie it up Ledger, full court pressure, Cunningham Hodge, Gomez, long pass to Gio Lopez, pressure broken, back to Gomez, Lopez, little 16 footer bank shot, no good, rebound by Hutchins. Coach Parker not happy with that shot, and Dave Cornish wants a timeout to discuss things on the Ledger sideline. Yeah, and I'm real important here for Ledger to finish the game very strongly. They've gotten to the mode where they're playing not to lose, Casey, instead of playing to win. Get a good look here. Set something up for Whipple at the foul line extender, or maybe get Whipple going to the basket a little bit. But get something aggressive and get something going to the rim with your best offensive threat right now, and that's Scotty Whipple. 124, 45-43 Ledger with the basketball. Hard to believe we're even talking about this being a tight ball game considering how the first period ended up where Ledger had 29 points after the first quarter. Only four, only 15 points since. And the easy scoring opportunities dried up for the Colonels. Um, you know, the running, the attacking the rim, you know, all the things that made them successful for the first eight minutes seem to have disappeared through foul trouble, through personnel, and through New London actually changing the pace and dictating the pace of the ball game. I give New London a lot of credit because when they were down 29-11 at the end of the first quarter, they could have folded up shop. They could have said, okay, you know, this is going to be ledger time, but these kids didn't. Coach Craig Parker has done a heck of a job here with his team you know, moving forward after that first quarter. Since they were down 18, they cut it to eight at halftime. Right. They cut it to seven, seven at the end of the third period. It's down to two. They haven't been able to get all the way back yet. The student section for Ledger on their feet. They know that this is a big moment. Ice Campbell with the basketball. New London extending pressure. Trap. McNair. Fletcher. They trap Fletcher. He gets it to Campbell, over to McNair. We're down, coming up on one minute. New London's gonna have to foul here in the middle, and they only have four, so they're gonna have to foul a few times. Ledger knows that, they're gonna make him come out and play him. Fletcher, McNair, New London's gonna have to do some fouling here, they're not getting the turnover. Almost that time, but nothing there. Down to 42 seconds. 
Burning McNair a lot of clock. Dangerous pass to Fletcher. Back to McNair, down to thir almost 30 seconds. They're going to have to start fouling. Yeah, you got to play him now. You got to turn the ball over. Fletcher doing a great job. Fletcher with the basketball. Playing Fouled by Gio Lopez, but what a great job by Ledger getting 30 plus seconds off the clock. Good strategy and good patience coming out of the timeout. Very easy to turn the ball over against this New London team. Like we talked about, long, athletic at the guard spot, but a nice job on the perimeter thus far for the Colonels in this possession. New London still has to foul two more times to get Ledger to the line. Watch him foul Whipple right away. They got it through the foul. They don't get it. A strip on the ball. That's a backcourt, not called. It was tipped, okay. In the corner goes McNair. They got a foul. New London's got a foul. And we get an off the ball foul on. But that's going to be on Melquan Gomez, and that's going to be his fifth. So Gomez is going to come out of the game. So that's one more foul. I'm sorry, one more foul before we're in a shooting situation. So Gomez has fouled out. A great effort by Melquan Gomez tonight, hustling and really turning things around when he was in the basketball game. Yeah, and, and right now, Ledger has burned. They've shortened this game up to it is a one-possession game. They burned a minute and, what, 30 off the clock? This possession started with a minute 43? Unbelievable. And I and New London, for the beginning part, I think rightly was trying to get a turnover. Right. But, but you got to know who on the floor has fouls, and you got to foul. You, gotta, you had to bump the fouls up faster than this. Next foul will get Ledger to the line. I expect that they will foul as soon as the ball is inbound. I mean, if I'm going to foul somebody out there, I'd probably foul, uh, you know, if, if you're in New London, I'd foul Isaiah Campbell. Inbound it goes to Whipple. He's not the guy you want to foul. You don't want to foul here, but they're going to have to. We're down under 10 seconds. They're going to get Fletcher. There they go. Eight seconds left. Fletcher's going to go to the line with a chance to extend this. Now, that's not enough time for a two-possession back and forth. You know, and as good as New London has played in this last possession here, if you don't get the quick trap and steal, you've automatically got a foul. Well, we're going to see what happens here with Fletcher at the line. Two-point lead. Has a chance to essentially ice the basketball game. First one is up and good. Makes it a three point lead. Now, Stephen Fletcher's got to manufacture something for himself out there, Casey. Struggling in the offensive end. Got to find a way to try to put this game on ice for the Colonels. Big second shot now. But Fletcher, it's up. No good. Tipped around. Whipple comes down with he's on the floor. No travel call. And we're going to get a foul away from the ball on Ice Campbell. How is that not a travel? as Wh Scotty Whipple slid across the floor. And Coach Parker is going to get a technical foul. An unfortunate turn of events here with 2.9 seconds remaining. Scotty Whipple is going to go to the line to shoot the one and one. And then they're going to have a technical foul and the basketball game, which for all intents and purposes is going to wrap this thing up. Coach Craig Parker incensed that no foul was called and no travel was called. And he gets teed up with 2.9 seconds remaining here in the basketball game. I don't know how you can slide across the floor like that and not call a travel. I don't blame Coach Parker for being upset. His team played their hearts out tonight, somehow stayed into this thing, and just an unfortunate turn of events to have to have this thing come down to a, a referee's call on the floor. So they're going to have the one and one first, then a technical foul, and then Ledger says it's all over. And if it is all over, in fact, it'll be the first victory for Ledger High School in the Dave Cornish era over New London High School. And Coach Parker not happy with the lack of a, of a traveling call against Scotty Whipple as he went to the floor. So the first thing we're going to have here is a one and one being shot. We'll see who the ledger foul is going to be. Ice Campbell. Campbell's going to go to the line with no one around to shoot the one and one and a three point ledger lead. First one up is good. And that should do it right there. That's going to give ledger a four point lead with under three seconds remaining. They're going to have this in a, a technical foul shot and the basketball. So a valiant effort by the overmatched and undermanned New London High School Whalers to keep this thing as close as it was. They had opportunities, a credit to the program that is New London, but 
Coach Dave Cornish and Coach Troy McKelvin, Athletic Director Jimmy Bunicor and the Ledger High School basketball team will finally get over the hurdle. They'll finally climb to the top of the mountain and overcome the foe that they have not yet been able to overcome and slay the dragon that, that is New London. Campbell misses the technical shot with five point lead and three seconds left with the basketball. A certain ledger victory, but New London really made it an awfully close basketball game. Your final score from Ledger, the Colonels 48, the New England High School Whalers 43. Congratulations on the first victory in the Cornish McKelvin era over the New London High School Whalers. We're going to have some post game reaction from head coach Dave Cornish as well as some of the, the Colonel players. As you see, two teams congratulating each other after what was a, a very hard fought game. We said in the open, throw the records out in this one, and that certainly lived up. Your Campbell was your leading scorer for Ledger with 10. Your leading scorer for New London, our player to watch, Cunningham Hodge with 17. Cruz with 10. Major Roman with 8 points and close to 20 rebounds. Ledger really dispersed scoring. McNair had 7. Fletcher had 7. Campbell 10. Turner 9. Whipple 9. Hutchins four and Vitorito with a basket. A well-balanced scoring for the Colonels. The sports doctor is gonna have winning coach Dave Cornish along with freshman Kenny Turner, probably the most tired guy in the building right now, as soon as he's ready. Sports doctor, tell us what you got. Winning coach of the Ledger Colonels, Coach Dave Cornish. Well, Dave, uh, you didn't think it was gonna be easy. No, I told you that already. I mean, that's a storied program over there. They got a lot of pride. They got a great coach, you know, I, I knew it wouldn't be easy. Now you've got 99 career wins. If you could take a second and reflect on it, does this one rank and rate as a little more special or at least a little more to you personally, Dave, since you spent 14 years on the, ledge, on the London bench? No, not really. I mean, they're, they're all special to me. Um, maybe if it was for a championship or something, it might be, but right now, like I said, it's, it's just another game on the schedule and we just got to keep moving forward. Okay, now talk about the game moving forward for your team. You guys right now are in a little bit of a hot streak. You got a couple of games coming up uh, next week. Obviously, uh, NFA on Thursday and then a big showdown with Bacon on Tuesday. ECC Large still up for grabs. You guys are still in the mix to do some good things here heading into postseason play. Yeah, we just got to win out. And uh, we went out, do our job, do our part. We, I mean, the championship is ours. All right, I know. How do you stay consistent? Because in the first quarter today, you had 29 points and seen a struggle down the stretch in this ball game, but yet found a way to win. Well, we got to stay out of foul trouble, Keith. We got to stay out of foul trouble and keep our main guys on the court. And, um, you know, it, it might might get a little easier if we can do that. Well, if you don't have your main guys on the court, stay right here, Coach. You've got the B-roll player, freshman Ken Turner. You played the freshman game, you played the JV game, and you paid big dividends, nine points in the, in the varsity game. The stage wasn't too big for you tonight, was it, Ken? No, it wasn't. I mean, talk about, you know, what it meant to be out there on the floor and, you know, the feeling of playing against New London, a big rivalry game as a freshman. Um, I thought about it coming in before the game. You know, I was a little bit nervous, but I didn't really get to let that get to me. And then uh, I just took the shots that were open to me. You having fun with this? Yes, I am. All right. Listen, Casey, these guys are in a position to do some good things here down the stretch. NFA on Thursday, Bacon Academy on Tuesday. I don't know, man. This league and this title is wide open, up for grabs this year. Big win here tonight for Dave Cornish and the Legend Colonels. Thank you, sports doctor. An exciting finish to the high school basketball season, and we're not done on game day either. Our next broadcast will be Friday, February 26th, when the Plainfield High School gets to host the girls' finals of the ECC basketball tournament, and we will have those finals for you. The New London High School Whalers, the class of the league right now, undefeated, but the NFA Wildcats, the Bacon Academy girls, these Ledger High School girls, the Waterford High School girls, all playing very well right now, and we will look forward to bringing you those finals. Of course, the ECC boys semifinals and boys final from Waterford High School on March 2nd and March 4th. A streaking Waterford High School basketball team with a big win at Bacon Academy tonight. These Ledger Colonels, let's not forget these New London High School Whalers. They are still the class of the ECC over the past decade. A lot can happen in the tournaments. We love bringing them to you. So a lot of action still left here in game day. We want to thank Mike DeMauro, our camera crew, of course, the great Peter Wappy for 
the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien. I'm Casey O'Neill. Junior Voice of Game Day, take us on out. Thank you for watching Game Day Live on the day.com. Great job. Great job.